Hey everyone, welcome back to J Lake 3D. So today we're going to be working on an interesting little fun project. So uh, basically, you know how if you have a dresser or a nightstand, any of those things, there's handles on there, or, or it's also called hardware. So I want to start off by making a simple one just to get you started. Let's go ahead and sketch with a rectangle. We'll make sure it's on diagonal. So we start from the center, because so we're just going to mirror it over. So let's make it... Uh, size is sort of irrelevant for this point, but do measure... If you are making these or 3D printing them, let's make it uh, five. Actually, let's make it, let's do uh, 10 millimeters by 2.5. That seems like a good size to mirror. All right, let's go ahead and also draw a line uh, here on this face for the handle part that gets screwed in. Let's go ahead and extrude that one first. Let's do five millimeters. And then select both of these faces, because if you select only one, you'll have to do an extra step by going to Tools and Union. Uh, but if you do both faces, one, two, and then extrude them by, let's say, two millimeters, and you click Union, it does it kind of in a quicker mode. All right. From this point on, what we want to do is go ahead and fill it that side, not chamfer, but fill it. And let's go to 2.5. And then from this point on, we want to kind of sharpen those edges just a little bit. And then from here, we want to fill it them so that it'll be a bit smoother. Okay. Once we have that, we can go ahead and fill it the front by about 0.5. And then also the side by about 0.5. And when you do the side, it kind of automatically grabs the rest. So if you don't want that, you have to watch my individual fillet video. Okay, but now that we have that, this is basically a complete handle. Let's just add a fillet here on the top to finish it off completely. Let's make it 0.5 to keep up with the rest of the design. And now that we have that, we need to make a hole for the screw. So for example, we can make a circle right here. Obviously, it's not the center. So if we want to center, we, we can go off the center line there. About, well, it's hard to get in there. Let's go ahead and get right there and uh, centered with that part. So let's draw a circle right here and make a hole of about 10 millimeters. Oh, actually the whole thing is 10. So let's make it five, just as an example. Okay, that's a bit too much. So let's make it two then. So this is those uh, slots for the screw. Obviously I am not gonna draw the thread right now. This is a separate video. But imagine this goes onto the wood of the drawer here, and then the screw goes into here. All right. So once you're at this point, we go to transform, mirror, double click this part, and then just select that face to mirror it exactly on that face. And then go to tools, union, select both pieces, click done. And then if we double click it, we go to visualize. We can now change the material, let's say from a metal perspective. Let's go to. Um, Rough platinum. This looks kind of like uh, nickel, I think. Uh, for it's pretty good for the colors. I think I, I really like the nickel color. But uh, if you don't like that, there's also other colors, obviously. So I do like that first one. Uh, so as you can see, this is a pretty basic handle, and these this type of hardware goes onto a lot of furniture. But let's go in and make a classic style. Uh, that you guys might see in other places. So I'm gonna just delete this, click done, and delete rather. So let's start off by making a circle. And this is gonna be like a flower type and a circle, not a sketch. And let's make it about five millimeters. And I wanna make another circle about over here. Hopefully that's far enough away. Um, I could probably Put it a little bit further back so let's go select it exit sketching it selects the move tool automatically we can go up here by five i think that might look a little bit better but we'll see in the long run and then let's go ahead and uh, draw a line down the middle of this part and then also let's lock everything into place here on the right so lock and let's also lock these dimensions in so they don't move when we're going to do the next part which is a tangent. So we just draw a random line here, make sure it's on the outside of the circle, and then select it and click tangent here on the right, and then do the same thing for the top one, tangent. 
and then we can go in and go to tools revolve and since we kind of uh, split our sketch down the middle we can select one side of the sketch and select that center line and we want to revolve it just by 90 degrees in this case and if it goes upside down just make it negative and you can go to the regular side and technically we can do 180 so it goes like that all right and from this point we need to select this item by double clicking it and click the pattern button here make sure it's on circular and then align it here in the center and revolve it by 360 degrees and choose however much you want let's try five that's obviously not enough let's try nine and that seems pretty good click done then let's go ahead and hide our circular pattern uh, let's go ahead and now extrude that center piece there by a random number it doesn't really matter how much but let's unhide the circular pattern here and then adjust this as necessary so let's make it like 10 and then this thing let's make it about five so i also want to smooth this out to blend with all those pieces so 2.5 once you're at this point click tools union and then click and hold and then drag to select everything and click done and then once we're there we need to go ahead and select that sketch and just extrude it out by about 10 and we can just transform scale this specific edge by about two and then for this we double tap it let's click to draw a circle and let's make it about five millimeters and then go inside by about two let's make it four negative in this case because sometimes it reverses for whatever reason and we basically have the slot for the screw so as i said before this is where the wood goes and this is where the screw goes right so you, this is like a drawer handle but we have to also keep in mind that they're usually a different color so if we go to visualization and we choose metals we can go down and these types of classic ones are typically made out of copper or brass as far as i know so let's try rose gold it might match brass a little bit better there we go something like this and we don't really have a nice looking brass color here maybe mm, i think burst copper probably looks the best for this maybe even hammered but this is a classic kind of piece of hardware so uh, this is to get you started obviously you can go in and then finish off by let's say if we hide our sketch we can go in and select all of these and click the chamfer tool and just deselect, deselect that middle one and then just go ahead and do that a little bit so it's smooth on all the sides not just in the front and then for this one we can do a nice uh, chamfer here and then fill it to make it smooth and this is basically done and then i forgot to add this in but you could obviously also fill it these ones you might have to select each one individually just because of the way that these angles are mounted but i think you can get away with making a nice fillet on each of these sections so if we select all of them i think it's going to be a good looking piece all right and th this is basically considering that it it's a welded or metal manufactured part so there will be some uh, connections here and uh, this also might look like a pokemon so <laughs> Hope this helps you realize that you can actually design this stuff pretty easily and even get this manufactured. If you have a 3D printer, this would be super easy to make. And uh, you can make a bunch of these for real cheap if you want custom hardware for your furniture. So hope this helps. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget that you can support my channel by becoming a member or donating via PayPal or other methods. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Here at JLake 3 d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.